M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Radtel 860 and the UV88. Fantastic devices. They've got HF received because of the extra antenna in the middle. I know we've got the color model that's come out, but they also have a USB-C port here. Now, in the past, I've been using the twin pin port to program, but someone messaged me and said, you can use the USB-C to program. Now that you've got the USB-C to large usb uh, for your Radtel, the new model, the UV98. So I thought, oh, well, that's cool, because we, we can buy these for just a few pounds. We did have to take them apart and swap the RX-TX over um, to make the, these ones work. You can buy the original proper one. You don't have to do that. Um, and it's about, I don't know, about £11 by the time you pay delivery. But I had two of these, and I did do the soldering. And so someone said to me, you can program, you can program your your iRadio, your Radtel 880 using the same cable. So I thought, well, I better put that to the test. So this is what the cable looks like. The link's in the description. And if we open up the software, this is just the Radtel 880 software. Let's have a look here. Yep. And you've got to thank Radtel because they've been putting out some very good software here for these radios. So anyway, so once it's connected, you right click, go device manager, and then you'll be able to select your COM port. Uh, so go down comms and then they're at com 14 i am com 14 in ports so then you just make sure you select your port so at the top here it says port okay port click it and then drop down and click 14 or whatever your number is so now if we go and obviously connect the cable read <laughs> uh it's going to read and i've just tested it and it worked great and so that's a plus because uh, I've now got extra cables now that I can uh, use on more radios. And just even the fact that it's got a USB-C on the end of it, where nowadays on Amazon, you can buy USB-Cs that convert to micro USB. And the other one that converts to is mini USB. And I'll tell you the other one I was going to try. I'll just have a look right now, actually. And that is, oh, good my camera. And that is um, USB-C to TRS. That'll be quite handy with some of the radios that I've got. So yeah, you can get that. And even if you need the opposite, you just join two together. And so it opens up more possibilities. Now, I don't know if this would work. I'm just thinking out loud. So, okay, well, I've made lots of uh, videos on using this software, but it's very straightforward, really. Mind you, it's easy to say that when you've learned it. So it's hard. It's hard when you don't know. Of course it is. So there's um, the channels. Look, listed. If I had another one here, look. We'll go one, four, five, dot. 600 and uh, we're on the receive ctcss which is on this is the first one we want none transmit frequency 145.000 and then on transmit ctcss we want 94.8 that opens the repeater you can set the power and then give it a name we'll go gb3wr and there, so that's a normal sort of type channel. If you want to add HF channels and get rid of the Chinese names you keep seeing, you have to go to radio. Let me find that just here where it says FM radio. And you have to choose which band you want it to be within. Look with the drop down, but generally it's 2 to 30 because that would cover HF and CB. But you have got, of course, 520-17-10-153-279 and um, so you add the name here add the modulation type and that's it and remember it's the middle antenna so it's receive only and it always will be same goes for the the color screen model and other similar radios the the new tk11 they're using a receive chip who knows someone might they might one day china make a transmit chip as well add 20 pounds to the cost and we might be able to transmit. And I know everyone asks for that. I know, I, I get it. I suppose 10 meters ham, 11 meters CB, even QRP. It's very nice to be able to transmit. I get it, yeah. So anyway, otherwise, there's your channels. Then you've got your configuration, all your settings that you're going to see in the radio when you go into settings. Thanks for watching my channel. But really, the reason for this video is to show you that USB-C with a with a cable that's got a CH340 chip built into it, 
you can program it with a USB-C cable, which I think is very handy. And as I said earlier, the, that and that cable could be used many other radios because the thing about USB-C, they make loads of adapters. Bye for now, 7-3.